I was diagnosed with Duke's B bowel cancer in 2010 at the age of 30. Uh, Duke's B being stage two bowel cancer. Uh, so it meant that the tumor was kind of localized to my transverse colon. Uh, fortunately it hadn't spread. So I had a colectomy to remove about half of my bowel. And then a chemotherapy uh, up until around April, 2011. Uh, and then after that, I struggled with the effects of uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, I had severe anxiety, and that seemed to last forever. But I think it was about a year and a half of, of going through uh, insomnia, eczema, psoriasis, all the things kind of associated with extreme stress. Uh, and then, yeah, I kind of, helped myself through that and had the support of lots of wonderful people around me uh, and ended up traveling the world for two years as a way of kind of helping myself, but found and learned so much about nutrition and exercise and mindset and what that does to us on a biochemical level. Uh, and now next year, we're coming up to my 10 year anniversary since that diagnosis. Two years ago, I had a little boy called Joseph uh, and got married uh, and I'm just enjoying life now and really trying to, uh, you know, raise the awareness of the psychological issues that can come with cancer, but hopefully empower people as well to know that, that there's support out there and there's a way through this. Well, I first discovered I had bowel cancer uh, for about a, a year. I'd progressively been feeling more and more tired and I couldn't understand this. Uh, I just turned 30 and I had uh, my friends and colleagues saying, oh, this is just what happens when you, you're 30, you feel tired. Uh, but I just did not feel right. And it got to a point where I was struggling to walk up the stairs. I felt exhausted going to get my shopping. I had, I'd have to stop three or four times. So I was going back and forward to the doctors and they found out I had an iron deficiency. I uh, took iron tablets for a while and that made no difference. And it wasn't until my hematologist uh, recommended that I have all these different tests and one of them was a, a colonoscopy and there they found a 10 centimeter tumor in my transverse colon and I was diagnosed with Duke's B bowel cancer. Dealing with the psychological effects of cancer was difficult because I think people just didn't understand and you know there's great awareness about mental health but no one fully understood what I was going through after cancer and the analogy that I like to use when describing what it was like for me surviving cancer was, I can imagine it's a lot like climbing Mount Everest. You know, you use all your determination, all your might, all your strength to get to the top of this mountain. And I felt like I was at the top of this mountain and suddenly all my support, all my Sherpas, all my safety ropes, all these things uh, had been taken away. And, and I didn't know how to get down. And unfortunately I kind of plummeted down because the people around me were going, but you're better now, you're okay. Uh, but I didn't feel okay. And although the treatment had stopped and I was told that the, the, the cancer had, had, wasn't there anymore, uh, psychologically it, it was still there. And that threat of cancer coming back was, was, was still rife, but people just were saying, you're all right, you know, the doctors have said you're fine. But it wasn't as easy as that at all. I've got so many coping mechanisms that I'd, I've used through cancer and afterwards with my issues with, with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, when I had cancer, I used a lot of visualization techniques. Uh, so when I had my operation and they joined me back together, uh, I was in a lot of pain and I used, I used to visualize uh, little miners with hats on, with pickaxes inside my bowel, kind of repairing it. And that, really kind of stimulated all these wonderful chemicals, just you know, knowing that that pain was some sort of repair service that was making me stronger. I also, also used to visualize that uh, I was winning Wimbledon, a uh, big tennis fan. So when I was in a lot of pain, I would imagine I was playing uh, Rafa Nadal in the final of Wimbledon and I'd have every shot and I used to visualize this and it used to just help take the pain away. Uh, and it was incredible. I think when raising awareness about bowel cancer, I think the public should know that this can affect anyone. It's not an old person's disease. It can affect, I mean, the, the, the cases of bowel cancer are increasing in people in their 20s, their 30s. Uh, so just letting people know that it can affect anyone and just to get checked out. If you have any of the symptoms, please go and see your doctor.